I'm about to get back into it. We got my boy Najee Grant. Is that his name? Najee Grant. He was saying his name. <laughs> <laughs> making sure I was saying his name right. I don't want to mess up nobody's name. I don't want to mess up nobody's name. And Jay Richardson here as well. We're back now. We have Mr. Najee Grant here, who's not a stranger to the show at all. <laughs> he's been here before when we was back in our living room days. And now he's here full in effect. And the author, what's going on? Are you a movie star now? We don't know. Let us know. Three books published. Three books published. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I knew exactly what a new was. So new is a uh, ten book series. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just follows the story of his dreams of showing his passions of becoming a singer. Oh, I love it. A new that can sing. A new that can sing. I love right, it. In the world of fiction, he represents eternal determination, uh, pursuing your dreams, passions, and uh, just never giving up. Okay. And that's excellent. That's the first one, and the second book we did, we finished on Halloween, was mm -hmm. Aaron's Adventures. I so, love him. And Aaron embodies uh, science, 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 and technology, mm -hmm. and uh, promoting STEM. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love so, it. You know, we all we, we're all using technology in here. Yeah, yes, uh, we are. But you see the black character, right? And uh, hopefully one day mm -hmm. we'll have uh, a black founder creating the next Twitter. It's Max right. now. You have these three books. Anything else coming out after this? All right, right. there's one more character. Uh, <laughs> one more character. One more character, <laughs> and we'll start that book next month. Mm -hmm. okay. And since the company is a multimedia platform for these chosen characters, we're also getting into mobile apps, uh, mm -hmm. music. How can they buy them? Uh, right, just www.tweenercity.com. Uh, okay. T W E E N E R city.com. Okay. All information, books, music, uh, what I'm doing, okay. other links, Facebook, uh, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm not big on social media, but all right. links are on the website. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, my boy Anton Cook. <laughs> he called me Cook. Oh my gosh, Cook. So you're the man behind Unity in the Community. Yes. So please tell us about the Unity in the Community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> unity in the Community is a nonprofit organization that was started in 2009. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about changing the lives of residents in South Philadelphia. We focus on gun violence and bringing the community together. Oh wow. Yeah. What made you want to do that? What made me want to start Unity in the community is that when I was younger, I always wanted to do certain things in the community, but growing up in Tasman Projects, you didn't really have certain things I wanted to do in my community we couldn't do because we couldn't afford it, like having a right. concert, I mean, going to concerts. Concert. It's like $20, $30, $40, $40. Oh, I wasn't paying that, so right. being able to bring that to my community with our Unity in the community block party and other initiatives like really empowers our community and right. keeps them excited, keeps them looking forward to uh, different things. Now, I need to know how did it actually start? Did you sit down with a pen and pad and say, you know what, I'm so tired of this Mom, I'm gonna do something different. Wow, it's funny. It started in my mother's kitchen, and I was just like, it started as a block party. Okay. I was sitting, I was sitting there, and um, I worked in radio, working in TV. Right. I was like, how can I use my relationships to make this block party pop? Right. So I got on the phone. I talked to Gilly the Kid. I think it was uh, Jasmine Sullivan in 2008, okay. and I was like, yo, come down to my block party. And we had a stage out there. We had some free food for the community. Right. And I was like, y'all mind performing? They was like, no, we'll perform. And right. then once they performed, I was like, yo, and I was able to see the reaction from the community. Wow. And I said, we're right. going to do this every year. So everybody looked forward to that every year. And our other initiatives that we had throughout the year, I think it's just uh, exciting. Run those down to us. So, so we have the um, ultimate prom experience. We pay for kids to go on their prom. Oh, we have a uh, Operation Holiday Hell, the monthly speaking speaking series. Okay. We bring together different professionals from um, different professions, like kicking it off in April with the uh, what is it? Breakfast with the DJs. So we have Diamond Cuts and the DJ Active and Marty G's where we have breakfast with them. Right. Also, we're going to set up the DJ Cafe where okay. there's like 10 different stations to actually teach the kids how to DJ. Then the following month, we're going to have Bernard Hopkins come down to talk about his career Q&A, okay. teach us how to box. So we try to give them that hands on three different things. And I'm always good at trying to just keep my hands on so many things. Mm -hmm. So we have the ultimate prime experience. If you know someone you know that can't afford to pay for their prime, please nominate them for our ultimate prime experience by emailing us at info at unity in the community 215. Unity in the community on Instagram, Unity in the community on Twitter, log on to our website, Unity in the community 215.com on that's our website and on Facebook, we're Unity in the community. This is so great. I love it.